top of the fluid mud. But that is one of the classic features we found with our system. So, measuring the top of the fluid mud doesn't help us to bring big ships into Portbury. And this is the Pianc definition of what the navigable horizon or the, what the navigable bottom is. So how do we quantify that? Well, we use a system, for, um, the Silas Pro from Stemma Systems in Holland, and we've been using this system for over a decade now. It consists of this density tuning fork probe and a smart winch. So how do we go about that? Well, we have to calibrate the mud, believe it or not, first of all, and all mud is different. So it's a very messy couple of days of mixing mud with water, weighing it, doing various calculations to come up with the cal calibration characteristics for our mud. And then we go out and collect bathy data. Classic pro profile using the CV200. There's the top of fluff. There's the harder bottom. And this is a real-time density layer uh, plot that um, is refined in post-processing, but it can give us a very good idea while we're out on the boat where the density layer is likely to be. Also, with this survey, when the, ship, when the next ship came in, this hull actually goes through the top of the fluff there. So if we just surveyed just using the classic high-frequency echo sounder, on certain spring tides, we wouldn't be able to get any deep draft vessels in. So we collect the bathy data. We then collect the density profiles used in the probe on our smart winch. See, we've got over a metre there between the 1.1 tonnes and the 1.2 tonnes uh, horizon. And then we can correlate that data. This is another profile inside Portbury Dock. So we lower the probe down, goes down through the mud to the 1.2 horizon, records that, and likewise again. So we pick selected spots of in our survey area to perform those probes and then through the software we then acquire the 1.2 horizon and that is what is plotted on our charts and that's the data that goes to the haven master and to the pilots and to the dredge crews and there's a classic final chart in AutoCAD of Avermouth entrance but it could be any of the docks or the entrances that could be and then this data is promulgated to those who need to know, and this is converted into PDF for the pilots to have on their um, palm tops and phones and stuff when they bring the vessels up. This data doesn't go down to the hydrographic office in Taunton because by the time they've got it and processed it, we're two or three surveys on. So it's just maintained depths in this area. And there we are, overmouth entrance again in a flayed mouse image. Right, well, how do we deal with that mud? We have to do a lot.